Welcome back to Tenorshare. The iOS 18 beta is out with a lot of new features, and it's absolutely stunning. However, many of my friends have reported that their iPhones are getting seriously overheated after installing iOS 18, especially for older models. It may even automatically darken the screen or show the warning note. If you're facing similar issues and want to know how to cool down your iPhone after getting the iOS 18 beta, keep watching. Method 1. Physical Cooling First, you need to cool down your phone physically before you can perform the fixes. Disconnect the charging cable and remove any phone case, especially silicon cases, as they can trap heat. Make sure to keep your phone in a cooler environment, like near an AC unit, before performing any fixes. You can also use Force Restart to refresh your phone system to help cool it down before repairing it. If this not helping, move to the next method. Method 2. Reduce App Refresh Overheating can be caused by running processes in the background, if your phone can be used normally. Regularly clear your background apps, or go to Settings. You can search for Background App Refresh in Settings and turn off this feature for apps that don't need it. And some apps use your location in the background, which can consume resources and cause your phone to heat up. Go to Privacy and Security to review and manage which apps have access to your location. And you can try delete some widgets. Yes, this is a real fix, since the iOS 18 beta give you more personalized experience on the home screen. It may got some problem with it. After all, it's a beta version. These can also release your iPhone CPU and cool it down if it's overheating. Method 3. Free up storage. Installing iOS 18 can take up a significant amount of storage space. If your phone was already short on space, overheating might be due to full storage. Check your storage and delete unnecessary apps or photos to free up space. You can delete the large video, delete some app you don't use, clear social media cache, which can also help with the overheat issue. Method 4. Downgrade your phone. If your phone is still overheating and this issue started after upgrading to iOS 18, consider waiting for a new public beta update. But it may take a long time. If you don't want to wait, you can downgrade to iOS 17.5, which is more stable. You can use Reiboot or iTunes to downgrade your phone. Reiboot makes it super easy with just three steps. If you're interested, check the video card or the description link for more details. After the downgrade, it will usually resolve system-related overheating issues. If all these methods not helping, consider it a hardware aging issue. Method 5. Check battery health. If your iPhone is an older model and the battery health percentage is low, or if you've replaced the battery before, the overheating might be a hardware issue combined with an unstable beta system, can easily lead to overheating. Consider replacing the battery with an official one or downgrading your iOS version. Okay, I hope these tips help you cool down your iPhone. If you have any other questions about iPhones or iPads, leave a comment and we'll help you out. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips. See you in the next video.